What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey. My name's Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions about a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review? We're gonna be looking at Oban Little Bay today. Stick around. So Oban is a pretty small distillery. It's located in the Western Highlands region. It's near the Hebridean Islands, so places like Isla, Jura, a lot of places that are known for slightly more peaty or uh, smoky expressions. Now, Oban, I believe, is very gently peated, but that's certainly not what defines it. It's best known for its sort of like coastal maritime uh, character. So in that sense, for me, it's kind of kissing cousins with something like Old Pulteney, which geographically is not at all close to it, but in terms of the flavor profile, you have a combination of sort of like floral highland notes and also this salty coastal character as well. So Oban is best known for their 14-year-old. And the 14-year-old, uh, it's been around for ages. Uh, it's a classic malt of Scotland. It's a good one, very coastal. I think most people who know whiskey have heard of it. Uh, that's a little bit different than what we're getting with Little Bay here. That one's matured entirely in bourbon barrels. This guy is matured in, uh, you have European sherry casts, you have refill American hogshead casts, and you also have new oak casts. All of that before being uh, married or put together for a final maturation in what they're calling small casks. They don't specify what small cast means, but I would imagine it's something like, let's say, a Lefroy quarter cast. So obviously it's going to be a smaller barrel. The concept being you're going to have more interaction with wood, more of an oak presence, and it's going to round out the flavors a little bit quicker. So it's kind of something to speed up the maturation process. Now, for some people, they don't like that. They'll think it's a shortcut. As far as I'm concerned, I'm okay with it. I've had enough quarter cask expressions that uh, I enjoyed, so I can't really complain. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Open Little Bay started out as a travel retail exclusive before eventually making its way into the core range. Now, Oban does not have much in the way of a core range. Traditionally, they just had the 14. Obviously, that was expanded to include this one. You also now have a rare 18 year old in there as well, as well as the DE, which is a wine finished one. Uh, I do have the DE, so I'll be reviewing that, I'm sure, at some point in the future. But uh, we're not here to talk about that one today. We're here to talk about this. So with that said, why don't you kindly leave a like and we'll hop into our review. Now, like the 14, this one comes in at 43%. Uh, it is chill filtered and it is not naturally colored. Um, so we have three X's up there. And every time we have three X's up there, I feel the need to say that doesn't mean it's a bad whiskey. It just means that it's not very naturally presented. Um, there are a lot of whiskeys out there that make it work even with those three X's up there. So who knows? Maybe this is one of them. Let's find out. Now, of course, our color doesn't really matter, but I will show you anyway. So there you go. Uh, bottle itself. It's kind of your standard whiskey bottle shape. Baby blue label here. I kind of like the color. Um, there's a lot of writing along the sides of the logo here. Uh, it kind of says a lot without really saying a lot. It's, you know, our, our stills are resting, our, our whiskey's smooth, finest oak casts, whatever. Um, one thing that they do mention in here is that they use worm tubs. Now, worm tubs, not something that's used by a lot of distilleries. Kind of an interesting aspect of the distillation process. If you want to, you know, research some technical stuff, you can Google that. Uh, beyond that, there's not a lot to say here. Again, we have small casks. Not really sure what that means, but we can assume something like a quarter cask. But yeah, I think I, I quite like this label. I think it's uh, got kind of a classy style with some modern colors on top of it. Overall, I like it. I'll give it maybe three and a half out of five for presentation. Um, it doesn't really pop off the bar shelf, but it does look good there. Uh, I don't like it quite as much as, let's say, the DE, but I like it better than the label you're going to get with the 14. Overall, yeah, it's a good look. Now for the nose. Mm, okay. You get uh, definitely some orchard fruits in here, like maybe peaches, pears, apples. You have some caramelized sugar in here as well. Apple crumble. You still have that Oban character, so you also have that salty maritime thing going on. And I think a bit of citrus in here as well, maybe orange or tangerine. For the palate. Okay, mm. so dried fruits, salt, there's a little bit of sherry in there, some caramelized sugar, gentle molasses. I get like, not coffee, I want to say coffee cake, not bitter, a little bit sweet, but a bit of a coffee flavor in there as well. 
um, vanilla, you have some wood tannins, um, and you have some apricots. And now the finish. Okay, not a not a long finish, kind of short actually. So short finish, you have coffee, apricots, um, Christmas cake, caramelized sugar again. That's been there throughout. Um, there's some sea. I don't want to say sea water, not sea air, like sea water orange zest and it lingers on maybe a little bit of earthiness and still some uh, some not too bitter coffee. Now as a bit of backstory, I have had Oban Little Bay before in the past and really really enjoyed it. Uh, the reason I picked up this bottle is because I loved my first bottle that much and I just wanted to come back to it. Um, and I was kind of surprised when I did because this is not the bottle I remember. This is not the whiskey I remember from that first bottle at least. Um, I feel like it's different. Um, the first one was vibrant, had really nice balance, nice flavors in there. Uh, you get some of those flavors again here, but they feel a lot more cobbled together and the balance just isn't right for me. And I don't think it's just me or my taste that's changed. I genuinely think this is a weaker bottle. Um, and I think it's strange that a no age statement core range expression would have inconsistencies between batches, but I do feel like that's the case here. Again, it's much less balanced and the flavors don't come together quite as well as they did with that first bottle. Beyond that, I feel like there's an artificial sweetness in here that just wasn't there before. And that inconsistency makes this kind of a tough whiskey to score. Now, uh, that first bottle, obviously I enjoyed it a lot more. I would have given that one a solid 86. But for this one, I can't go any higher than let's say 83. Um, I don't like it when you have such a level of inconsistency in whiskey. Now of course you can get away with it if you're doing stuff like batches or annual releases where people are meant to compare the two, see what the differences are and you know pick out some nuances in, in the flavors that change. This is a core range, no age statement expression. I expect a level of consistency in flavors and in quality that I just haven't seen from this so far. Now that's not to say that everything about this whiskey is bad. You do have some nice flavors in here, you do have that sort of classic Oban profile. Uh, I think the sherry adds some nice touches to it, um, even though it's rather light. Um, but it's just, again, it's a weaker whiskey than that first bottle. If I were to compare that first bottle to the 14, I would say Little Bay is a better whiskey. But comparing this one to the 14, I would say the 14 is a better whiskey, so results may vary. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Oban doesn't have much of a core range, and if you're looking at affordable Obans, your choices are going to be this or the 14. Now, as I mentioned, I like my first bottle better than the 14, and I like my second bottle less. I think if you're looking for consistency and those classic Oban flavors, your best bet would be the 14. But uh, when this one delivers, when this one's good, it's really good, and as I said, better than the 14. So that'll have to be a calculated risk for you guys. Alright, that's it for me today guys. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and smash the like. Also, you know I want to hear from you, so have you tried Open Little Bay? Have you compared it to the 14 year old? What were your thoughts? And finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for the next video. Bye guys.